All right, we're going to do another unit conversion with two prefixes. Uh, and this time we're going to look at the question, how many micrograms is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms? We have the base unit of grams, and we have a micro prefix and a kilo prefix or kilo prefix. We're going to start this problem as usual. We have question mark with our micrograms equals 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 and our unit of kilograms. Um, anytime I have two prefixes for my unit conversion, it's going to need two steps. There are shortcuts, and you're welcome to do the shortcuts once you get the hang of it, but doing the two steps always works. The two steps will involve looking at the micro and the kilo prefixes and see how they're related to the base unit. By looking at the prefix table, let's go ahead and get those equivalences written. Um, this is our scratch work that we're going to do off to the side. If we look up micro in a prefix table, it's going to tell us that's 10 to the minus 6. And remember that that's 10 to the minus 6 of the base unit. That equals 1 of the prefix. So there's our equivalence for the micro unit. If we look up the kilo or kilo unit, um, what we'll see is its multiplier is 10 to the third or 1,000. What that means is that there are 1,000 grams in 1 kilogram. The number that's the multiplier in the prefix table goes with the base unit. The 1 goes with the prefix. So as I go back to this problem, I'm ready to set it up using exactly the same format we've been working on, times and my ratio sign. The unit of kilograms needs to go on bottom so that it cancels. I'd like to put the unit of micrograms on top, but I can't because I don't have an equivalence for them. So I'll come down here. Here's my kilo prefix. I'm going to relate it to grams. In a conversion problem with two prefixes, your two steps will involve going through the base unit because that's what the prefix table tells you equivalence is for. After I put my units, 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 units go first. After I put my units in the proper place so that the kilograms cancels, I look to see what numbers go there. The 1 goes with the kilograms. The 1,000 goes with the grams. My kilograms unit cancels, and now I need another step. That's a G and not a 9. Now I have to put my grams on bottom so that it will cancel. Units always go first. And now I can put that micrograms on top because that's what I'm trying to find and so micrograms will go on top and here are the numbers that go for that equivalence. A 1 goes with the micrograms, the 10 to the minus 6 goes with the grams. My grams unit cancels and now all I have left to do is punch it into my calculator. If I punch that into my calculator I have to be careful. This is scientific notation so I have a 1.2 EE negative 4 times a thousand. I can hit divided by one on my calculator if I want to, but I don't have to. I can hit times one on my calculator, but I don't have to. And then I'll divide by one EE negative six. Careful punching that in. And my calculator may or may not give it to me in scientific notation. I might see this. That many micrograms is my answer. Um, or my calculator may go ahead and give it to me in scientific notation, and I should be able to recognize it one way or the other. And so how about 1.2 times 10 to the fifth micrograms? Either of those answers um, is acceptable.